This is an Ellis Mowers and More product review. Interested in buying this product? The link is in the description below. Have a product inquiry or a home, garden, or automotive product or tool to review? Email me, ellis at ellismowers.com, or reach out on Instagram and Facebook at Ellis Mowers and More. And as always, like and subscribe for more product reviews and small engine content. We are in the garage today for today's product review. This is a new product from Eaton Wolf. I have done their uh, digital tire gauge. They sent me this. It's, uh, it's their S6 Vortex S6 portable inflator. Uh, really nice. It's going to be in the box here. We're going to unbox it here in just a second. Uh, it says it has 1.5 CFM uh, speed, so it should inflate your tires relatively quickly. It says it will inflate large tires, including pickup trucks and even large trucks. Uh, 1000 lumen light, 45 watt fast charging adapter, 100% duty cycle means that it will give you full power until the end, until it reaches 0% on the battery. Uh, an auto stop function, so you put in your PSI that you want, it stops once it reaches that pressure. And a dual cylinder design, high precision with uh, 1 PSI, getting it within 1 PSI accuracy as well. So that's really cool. We're going to unbox this. What I'm going to do to test this out, we're going to see how much battery it's got out of the box here. I'm going to deflate all four tires on this yard machine's lawn tractor, and I'm going to air them up to the proper PSI, see how long that takes, and see how much battery gets used. And I think that's going to be a really good test for um, this product. I don't want to do it to my cars because I don't want to flat spot the tires or anything along those lines uh, to inflate them from zero PSI. We'll do it on this lawnmower and we'll test this thing out. The presentation of the product looks really good though, so I'm kind of, I'm really excited to, te to test these out. If you have, if you do work in the garage, especially when it comes to tires or small engines or whatnot, something like this is a big plus instead of having to drag out your air compressor and hook up hoses and charge it up. Just take this out, put the PSI you want to, take it wherever you want to go, inflate your tires and get it out of there. So that's what I love about these products and I think this one's going to live up to uh, what it's supposed to be. So let's test it out. Really nice carrying case. You can get it in yellow or blue and This is excellent. It's like I said, it's a decent size. It's the size of probably a large lunch box, if that makes any sense. And we're opening it up. We've got all different air chucks and all that stuff right here that we'll have to screw in. This is a, uh, looks like a charging cable and a charging brick. So it's in white, so it's going to get greasy really quickly, unfortunately. But um, it goes with the look of the product. And that look of the product looks just like this. Like I said, it's about the size of a large lunch box. It's only, it's probably 15 pounds at the most, 10 to 15 pounds, so it's pretty small, uh, pretty light for the size that it is. Your air hose is right here. And what did you go through more of the features here? in uh just a second because it looks like you've got like a hose that you can blow things off with as well so that's kind of cool yeah so if you look over if you look here you can actually deflate and inflate with this which is awesome uh using this hose so that's great and then you've got your regular uh I guess this is your regular tire inflator here. So uh, you have a light as well. And then you charge it in the back right here. So I'm going to read some more instructions. Just wanted to give you all some of the first impressions of the product as I take it out. Calibration certificate right here. A guy named Zhang calibrated it. So that's good. And then you have your uh, user manual. I'm going to read the user manual a little bit, learn myself, and then show y'all. 
pretty self-explanatory how to do things after just a couple of seconds of figuring it out. So to turn it on and off, you just hit the start pause button at the top here, and the display comes on. Boom. Ta-da. Your light is on the left side here. It's got four settings. Regular. Really bright. That's, I mean, that's so bright I can't have a look at it. That's a, you know, help me, flashing light. And then there's your SOS. And then you turn it off. So, you have different units here. In the United States, we usually use PSI, but you can change it to KPA or bars, depending on what you use. You have different modes. I think these are more like preset modes. So you got like manual mode, car, truck, RV, bus, whatever, uh, balls. Uh, oh, this is this is to just blow air through uh, the inflate and deflate on this. We'll see how uh, good that works here in just a second. And then your bicycles. We're just going to go on the manual gear mode here for uh, this. And then I guess you just use the dial here. Oh, wow. How about that? It's just a little dial and you just knock it down to, so we're going to go 14 in the front and 10 in the rear. And it should just set right there. So that's perfect. Really easy and straightforward. I love it. So I've got the tires deflated on the uh, riding mower now. And I'm going to put this in. We have a full charge straight out from the uh, box, which is fantastic. We're going to see how much battery this uses uh, while inflating these tires up, how long it takes, and um, see how well it works. I'm excited to try this out, guys. Before we inflate, what's funny is I've got my phone <laughs> plugged up to the actual charge portion of this and it's actually charging the device up using the phone so that's kind of interesting again if you reverse it you do need your own cable in order to use uh, the charging feature of it on the back here you've got a big USB so you need your own charging cable because this is the, the charging brick cable so this will only do the uh, charge portion of the air compressor. So just make sure you have your own uh, cable to uh, put into the device that has the main, the big USB on the back. But now I have all the tires deflated. So next thing we're going to do, I'm going to put you on time lapse and we're going to see how long this thing takes to inflate all the tires. Also on the back, in addition to the charging port, you can also see the different type of air chucks that you could use. Uh, to say like if you need to inflate um, a ball or something that's not a valve stem, like a tire, then you have these uh, fittings here so that you could do that as well. So in around four minutes, we got all four tires pumped up here. This thing also, it doesn't just go full on until it gets to the PSI that you want it to be. When it gets to, let's say I've got it at 14 right here. When it gets to about 13.5 to 13.7, it started slowing down uh, so that it got right on 14 psi and didn't overshoot it or anything like that. It's kind of like it gets it up there and then it gets really close and then it just kind of tops it off and slows it down at the very end. Super nice. We didn't even touch the battery life on this and these tires were completely flat and we've got full battery still on this thing. So imagine like if you had a truck tire or a car tire 
that you needed to inflate up, say, you know, from 20 to 40 PSI, this thing right here could probably do all four tires on three or four cars without having to need to be recharged. It's excellent, excellent, excellent. So that's awesome to see. Maybe while we're here, we can test out the inflation slash deflation device here. So if we def the deflation should suck it in. And I'm going to change it on the mode here to the wind one that doesn't have anything on it. And we should be able to press the start button. I mean, I guess I could probably like vacuum stuff up if I wanted to. So. I mean, <laughs> so. It's obviously not what you do, but. So that's a huge plus. I didn't realize that this had this as well. And then if you needed to have a little bit of compressed air or something. So it acts as like a little, uh, almost like a little mini vac also. You don't vacuum things up with it, obviously, but if you need to deflate or inflate, I don't know, like, not a bouncy house, but something like a, um, like an inner tube. You just stick that down in there, hit this bad boy up, inflate it, and you're good to go. So this is awesome. Great to take on camping. Great to have in your garage. So much positives about this stuff and it works so, so well. I'm always, I always get excited when I get tools like this in because I know that I can use them here in the garage and I know that they're going to work really well. I can take them in the truck, especially if I go pick up, you know, bad mowers or something that I have flat tires, I just take this thing in, pump them up within three or four minutes, and I'm able to roll it onto the trailer or roll it out of wherever it is a whole lot easier. So thank you Eaton Wolf for this Vortex S6. It is a fantastic air compressor with many, many uses. Again, you can charge your phones in the back. You have a light here. That's really bright. Your air compressor, Chuck, and then also like, you know, if you're inflating tubes or deflating tubes or air mattresses or anything along those lines, you can use this hose as well. So many uses for this. These are some of the most handy products that you could ever get your hands on when it comes to um, garage tools or tools that you uh, may want to put in your car for emergency purposes or things along those lines. So I can't say enough good things. Thank you Eaton Wolf again and thank you for watching this product review. Hopefully it gave you an idea of uh, what all this thing can do and how fast it could do. Thanks again guys and I'll catch you on the next one.